You know, if you're a country and western fan, you know where Saginaw, Michigan is. That's where the broken hearts uh, go to die. But if you're a hockey fan, Saginaw, Michigan could be one of the most important uh, Michigan regions for pro hockey. Now, uh, Saginaw uh, is well known for several teams, but we're talking about the main one now. Saginaw is host of the Saginaw Generals, the Saginaw Hawks, the Saginaw Wheelers, the Saginaw Gaylord Grizzlies, Saginaw Lumber Kings, the Sa Saginaw uh, uh, Ohio Gears, and the Saginaw Spirit. But today we're going to be talking about the original Saginaw Gears, which uh, was a tremendous draw from 1972 to 1973 in the IHL. Now, the Saginaw Gears were the true, uh, what do you call, example of a hometown squad. They uh, existed from, again, 1972 to 83 and played their home games at a venerable Wendler Arena at the Saginaw Civic Center, which is now known as the Dow Event Center. Now, uh, the Flint Generals had uh, moved to Saginaw to become the Saginaw Generals for the 86th season, but a lot of people hold a better affection for the Gears. Now, the Gears made uh, the playoffs for nine straight seasons from 73 to 82. Now, the Gears reached the Turner Cup Finals five times in that stretch, and won uh, the Friday Uber Trophy in 77, and Turner Cups in 77 and 81. Now, because the franchise folded after the 83 season, a lot of the memories uh, are kind of destined for some fans, but for some followers of the channel, like Andrew Lippert and, and a few others, they're still vivid. Now, the first season wasn't the best, 30, 41, and 3. But by season uh, 3, in 74-75, led by Don Perry, uh, in their second straight Turner Cup Finals, uh, they had a 43-29-3 record. Now, in that uh, big Turner Cup Championship year of 77, 40-27-11, with uh, a plus 46 goal differential. Now, they had three bad uh, playoff uh, appearances, only making uh, as far as round two in 1980, but 81, they were back yet again, uh, winning uh, the title under Don Perry. Now, former star Marcel Camo became head coach in uh, 82, got him to the finals, but the last season in the Eastern Conference, they were uh, eliminated uh, uh, in, a, in the regular season, did not make the playoffs. Now, there's some significant players that have skated with Saginaw over the years, including some of the better goalies of the era, including Bob Fries, Mary Lassard, and of course, Mike Palmatier. Now, John Gibson also spent time there, as well as the Lou Franceschetti and Greg Hotham, whose son Scott and Andrew, of course, later played for the Saginaw Spirit. Now, in the 75 season, it was kind of weird because longtime NHL forward defenseman Reggie Fleming joined the Gears in time for the 75 playoffs. Now, head coach Don Perry, of course, went on to greatest success in coaching as he guided the Kings from 81 to 84. And, of course, he was the head coach in that big upset of the Oilers in, uh, in the big miracle game uh, as well with uh, the big comeback for 5 nothing. Now, Marcel Como, like I said, being head coach, he became what well, became the IHL's top scorer and most valuable player in the 81 season. Now, what's kind of bizarre about this, the Turner Cup replica at the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto recognized, uh, recognized Saginaw for his success in the IHL. But unfortunately for the 77 title uh, plaque, it says Saginaw, which I think either was a misspelling or the fact was that... Uh, uh, like any minor leagues, errors like this, these occur when a budget is on the line. Now, I want to just go over very, very quickly some of the key players from, uh, from 1977, because I think, in my opinion, that's her best year. And, of course, who led the team, of course, was Paul Evans with 112 points and 50 goals in 78 games. Now, Dennis uh, De, De Rosie was there with 96 points, 75 games, including... 46 goals, uh, the pride of Cortland Lake. Rick Chinnick had 37 goals that year. Dave Wester had 35. And Wayne Zook, Stu Irvin, Marcel, of course. Darcy Ryan and uh, Mike West each had 20-plus 20, 20 goals. Now, 
Stu Irving, he comes from a very unique uh, community uh, from Beverly Fa Farms, Massachusetts. And at the time, he was the few one of the few players on Saginaw that were from the United States and did quite well. But Marilus Howard and Michelle Duguiz uh, were the uh, were the big goalie tandem that year. But uh, Rick LeMay, Tom Moore, Bill Eo, Bob Mears, and Jim Fraser also spent time again uh, behind the. Uh, uh, in the cage, or said, uh, you know, defending the Saginaw. So, if you're a Saginaw Gears fan, uh, they're, they're sorely miss. And like I said, Saginaw Michigan, my God, only four or five thousand fans in a game, but for many it felt, felt like twenty or thirty thousand. Nothing better than a Detroit pro hockey game or a Michigan pro hockey game where the fans are on. And that's what the fans of Saginaw were like. So this is our latest in our team profiles of minor league squads on our channel. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any members of Saginaw, members of Saginaw let me know. Have a good day. Bye.